Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to make some cute little pieces of ephemera using some Tim Holtz papers. Uh, I'm using some of my leftover pages, you know the ones at the back of the Tim Holtz 12 by 12 packs where you get lots of these little bits that are, are they three inches by four. And yeah, so that is made by using two of them. Just fold it over, I've fastened it with a little teeny tiny paper clip and that's got a little camera charm on it. Got a little belly band on the front with a couple of Timmy tickets. You can use any tickets, you don't have to do these in Tim Holtz. That's just what I'm using. Uh, inside we've got a little top tuck there with another ticket. We've got a tuck there with a little booklet that I've made popped into that side. And then another little tuck there with another ticket in. Uh, I'll be making quite a few different styles today. They won't all be the same as this one. I were inspired to do this by two people. Uh, firstly, uh, Gail Agostinelli has just yesterday, she remade one of my projects and she let me know she was doing it and I was chuffed to bits and it was this one and she were amazing. But when Gail decorated hers, she used a lot of these pieces. And that made me remember a video I'd seen by my friend Cheryl Wilm uh, a couple of weeks ago, where she'd just used these to make these little fold-over booklets in lots of different styles. So I thought I'd give them a whirl today. So, these sheets I've got are from the Memoranda stack. I'll show you. That's the front cover. In short, yo, I'm sorry if that's a bit glary, and I'm uh, filming in electric light, so yeah, the camera really doesn't like big swathes of light coloured papers. So I'm just going to pause while I go ahead and cut these up. I'm going to cut it down the middle at six and then cut across, so I'm left with six different pieces that are two squares well, they're not squares, two pieces wide, so two, two, and I'm back. I've actually done a bit more than I said, but I will do it again for you because I were a bit of a numpty and instead of unpausing camera, I stopped it. So I'm talking away to no one. I mean, I'm always talking away to no one as I make the video, but at least I know someone is going to listen. So, yeah, I've cut up. I feel like it's ages ago since I told you I were going to cut these up, but to you it's like 30 seconds. <laughs> so I've cut these up into twos. And as well as that, I've also gone ahead and cut some of them again because these are going to be my little booklets and I'll show you yeah I did these well I did these with nobody watching so I think we'll bring those back out in a while blue peter style and we'll decorate them so you'll get to see me make the notebook once and then you'll get to see me decorate three so here we go right let's choose what we're going to use so at that I think because that's sideways if I fold that in half that's going to make a lovely little mini journal for inside yeah the flowers look right way yeah that right in sideways not a problem a lot of timmy papers have sideways writing then on back that's the right way up so I love timmy's papers for that so that's going to be our little journal now we'll pick one of these uh, I do like that one I like that grumpy old man <laughs> So, yeah, I think I'm going to have that for my booklet. Mid Mr. Grandpa Grumps, we're going to call him. Grandpa Grumps. I also got these out to show you, but you didn't see them because you weren't here. But now you are, so I'll show me again. I, <laughs> I had a bit of a Timmy spend at the end of month last month when I got my YouTube money. And I bought some of these. These are called the Found Relatives. And some of these are going to be the perfect size to tuck in pockets. So I think this one with grumpy old granddad on front, we might have grumpy auntie, his grumpy grandson or son-in-law. And that could be his, oh, that looks like a grumpy wife, doesn't it? Uh, I hope my daughter doesn't watch this because Gail, I've got to tell you, she was incensed watching your video, you know. Do you know some of those Tim Holtz people you used came from different eras? Oh, and I never heard last of it last night. And it's like, it's art, darling, it's art. <laughs> Timmy put them together, we're going to use them together. So, yeah, if she, when she sees this, if these aren't all from the same era, I'm going to get a ticking off. 
but whatever, whatever. Right, before I go ahead and ink these, I'm going to round corners. Yeah, she's a bit of a history buff and all facts have to be correct. <laughs> she's the one, um, uh, she has autism and yeah, yeah. When it's got to be right, it's got to be right. So she's like a sponge for historical facts. She helped me when I did that uh, medieval collage of the week. Uh, yeah. I was saying, can I do this? Can I do that? She said, no, that is not the medieval era. I'm like, oh, sorry. I felt like I was at school being berated by a teacher for having not learnt what she'd been trying to learn me. So, yeah. But she did like it, Gail. She did like it. She thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I can't even remember which people were from wrong era now because I don't know. Like I said, when I did my collage of the week, anything from before I were born to me is just classed as medieval. Days of yore, days of yonder. <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, olden days. Well, I'm sure my kids think I were about when wheels were square. Oh, it's funny, isn't it, when kids sometimes ask you, do you remember that, Mum? Do you remember that? Oh, Big Bang. Do you remember? No, I don't remember. Big Bang, darling. Sorry, I weren't here. <laughs> but, yeah, she's she's learnt about history now, so she knows more than I do. And woe betide anyone who gets it wrong. Her ambition is to be a history teacher. Ooh, I feel sorry for her pupils already. Right, we've got, I've gone ahead now and inked that. So I hope no one lost the will to live while I were inking because I were doing a bit of waffling as well. Right. So, yeah. Um, oh, and a big thank you to all the Gail's subscribers who bobbed over and said hello to me. It's like, wow, thank you. There's been so many of you. And I were also quite surprised by how many of my subscribers... Well, actually, I, weren't subs I wasn't surprised that... A lot of my subscribers subscribe to Gail because Gail's amazing and she's, yeah, she's one of the originals, I think, doing this. She's one of the first ladies I ever watched. Right, I'm just going to get some papers for my little notebook. And this is how I decide how big to make them. I'll just pop it in, put it just short of the crease then, and I'll fold. Then I know it's going to fit inside my little book. Yep. I'm not even sure if these bits of papers are straight. They're just off cuts. They're not quite, but that's not going to matter. World's not going to end. So that's first one. That fits. And then I'm going to use that as a little template for others and just grab some different scraps and make some little pages. Uh, shall we have another folded over page? Yeah, we could. Yeah, another one. So yeah, thank you to all my subscribers who watch Gail as well, who've left lovely comments over on Gail's channel. Uh, yeah, I was quite touched reading those. It did bring a little tear to the eye, I have to say. It's just, I'm just gobsmacked. I'm starstruck, to be quite honest. I'm starstruck that Gail Agostinelli has done one of my projects. <laughs> when, I, when I first started my channel, Gail was one of the ladies who I looked up to and learnt so much from so to even have Gail so she picked a tip up from me it was like wow I suspect Gail it's a bit like when I picked tips up I probably did know it once but I forgot it <laughs> I relearned so much because I can't remember it it's untrue I think I'm going to tear that one off we can't have every page of a flip over that would be a bit repetitive so there we go so that's three pages. I normally just put three or four in and then I'm happy. Yeah, that's three. I'll just grab one more. Oh, let's have a bit of actual book page. Oh, look at that. That might be a bit long, but I'll trim it down. Yeah. In fact, I'll just tear it down with my ruler. We're being very random. I'm getting very good at not having to have everything lined up to within an inch of its life. And I know my ruler's two inches wide, so I just do. <laughs> is it or is it just short? 
now it's spot on two inches so oh, it'll just fit it'll just fit I'm not bothered if it sticks out a teeny tiny bit I can live with that which is front that's front so I'm just going to pop all my four little pages in and now this because it's two inches wide it happens to be the perfect width for us to staple the center using the Tim Holtz tiny attacher yeah because you can't really open this up and staple properly with it it doesn't lay flat if you've got a regular stapler and you want to staple middle what I normally do is I grab a piece in fact I've got one on the desk from when I was sewing a bit of foam look it's got gems and all sorts stuck to it yeah I'll lay it like that I'll open up my regular stapler and then I'll staple along the crease like that but the Timmy one it doesn't lay flat and you can always do it but if you've got a long reach stapler or if your regular stapler will reach in just two inches you can do it like this i've inked the outside edge so i can see where my crease is better and look the timmy one just reaches two inches perfectly we've just caught that middle one i'll put this pretty yeah, we've just caught the middle page twice. So there we have it. A teeny tiny little scrappy book. How cute is that? And yeah, those yeah, I like that. So that's the little scrappy book done. You can go to town and put some little pockets on the inside if you want. Right, now this. I'm not going to decorate it exactly the same as this one. There's just so many ways you can do it. And Shale's video... If you pop over and have a look at Shell's video, you'll see I decorate it in a lot more different ways than I'm going to do. Now, I've grabbed some of my, my Tim Holtz ephemera box. Ooh, I can't, the tickets are the exact same size as the box and I can't get them out. Come out. Oh, there you go. I can get my finger in that. Sorted. So that's the tickets. They were bought for me by my lovely friend Zoe. Uh, I've got some... In here that were bought for me by Secret Squirrel. <laughs> I know you are now Secret Squirrel sending me uh, prezzies off Amazon. Thank you so much, lovely lady. And I'm going to use these as pockets and tucks and all sorts. I've got various packs in here. Uh, if you go onto my Amazon storefront, you'll be able to see which ones I've got. And I'm just looking for something that catches my eye oh they I don't think they're even Timmy papers are they yeah that is a Timmy paper I think that may have been from uh, Dapper could have been Dapper could have been etc that's not Timmy but that looks so Timmy doesn't it oh, I want to dig down now to smaller bits oh I've just remembered some of my smaller bits are still in packet oh yeah what the secret squirrel bought me I think mm. Oh. this pack this was the one that we released last halloween it's the ephemera pack curator snippets they're not halloween themed it was just in the halloween release which i find a bit confusing so i'm going to grab a few of these out because they're just so cute it's like we're living in lilliput isn't it we're lilliputians everything's tiny and cute and gorgeous ah I want to use that as a pocket, but I'm going to have to cut it down a bit, aren't I? But that's not a problem. Uh, I don't think I'd ever get that anywhere near straight enough to use as a pocket. So, yeah, I'm going to bring chopper in. Bring big guns out here. I just want to chop a little bit off each size. I don't think we'll lose anything from it. It still looks like a postcard. We'll chuck a bit of ink on it. You can put a little notch in the top if you want. I'm not going to. I may have to round one corner. Yeah, I'll have to round one corner on it. So if I'm doing one, I'm going to do two. I'll do both bottom ones. Desk is its usual interesting self. I'm not going to call it untidy. It's interesting. Oh, yeah, I like that there. That's cute. And I'm just going to glue this one on three sides. So already I'm doing it different to my last one. You can go to town, do what you want. I'm making all these little Timmy bits because I do plan doing 
some kind of Timmy journal. I've been watching the lovely Fiona, who is Miss Paint a lot. She is doing some absolutely stunning Tim Holtz projects. It's like, whoa. She's found Tim Holtz and she's taking it to town. <laughs> Me. Do you know? Do you know all these people I go on about when I'm talking? I've got them all in my featured uh, channels section. If you go to home page, my home page on YouTube, uh, you've got community, featured channels. You'll find the people there. That's why you can't see everyone I subscribe to. It's not some secretive and I want to hide it, but to be able to feature certain people. You have to turn that off and then all that will show up is the people you want to feature. Uh, so, yeah. I've had a good role modelling Gail. Gail always links to people and tells you about them. And, yeah, that's how I like to be. Ooh. Ooh, I've just heard my cat meow. I don't know what's occurring. Right, I've just picked a couple of random ones here because I think... I want to pop that one there. I think I'm just going to do that as a little tuck down. Just like that, yeah? And I might put my little book that I've made. When the glue's dried, it will should go lovely in there. Yeah, it will. But I'm going to wait till that glue's dried properly. Or it might, it might break it. It might come unstuck. I can hear one at kids saying to cat, you're not going back upstairs. <laughs> it's Rachel, she's very bossy. You are not going back upstairs. Mummy is filming a video. But the cat would come in now and she'd just meow and meow and meow at me to get me attention. And then she'd start wailing because I were not giving her attention. She's very old, my little cat. She's 19. She had one brief appearance on video, but because I've never allowed her on furniture, so I picked her up one day, put her on the table, and she were like, she didn't know what to do, so she were off. Right, yeah, I like that. And then I want some of these little snippets with a bit more colour on, just stuck on here. I suppose that could stick just off, yeah. I'm using my art glitter glue to stick, because it sticks nice and quick. PVA will do the job. <laughs> Tiny tickets, big chompy fingers, not always uh, good bedfellows. There we go. And I, I just want to put a couple of tickets on this as well. I just love how you can layer Tim Alt's little tickety bits up. They're so cute. One of my subscribers told me that Tracy Fox has got new tickets out. I must go have a, go and have a look. But it's it's a dangerous uh, Etsy shop, that one. Very dangerous. It's a bit like you had one thing to your basket and then another and another and another. Before you know it, you've yeah, you've spent your monthly craft allowance in one place. Right, that's going. I like that in there. Yeah. So uh, that needs something on it. And I think that one needs a round one. So, oh, look at that. That's a very colourful. Oh, I like. We could nearly have that dangling off, really, couldn't we? But no. I want to have something dangling off the actual booklet. But they're just so quick and easy, these. I love it sometimes when you work with Timmy stuff. It just all goes together lovely. Oh, we're going to put a photograph in, won't we? I forgot that. I quite often forget what I said I were going to do. So if, ever, if ever you see me forget something, yeah, just remind me. <laughs> and I'll do it on another video. Yeah, I think we need a photograph in here. So that's your photograph of your sweetheart, grumpy old man. Don't know why you're looking so grumpy. That's your wife and that's your ticket to go and visit her, sorted. So, do you know, I don't think I want to decorate front of this one much. I don't want to put a belly band on like I did other because grumpy old man will get covered. Maybe I could put a corner pocket on the front where his ticket in. Yeah, something like that will do. So what can we have? 
one of these. No, that doesn't stand out enough. I want something that's going to stand out a little bit more. So let's tip a few more out. Is that the same one I used inside? No, but oh, no, I don't want to use it. Oh, that one's got a bit more colour about it, hasn't it? That stands out a bit more. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue this on two sides. Bottom at right hand side. Oh, I went a bit far in with that. I don't know what occurred there. Yeah, I like that. And we shall... That's, that didn't come into molds. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm tidy enough, I put other things in that just don't belong. So, let's have a little snufty in here. Shufty. Can I speak? I really don't know. What we got? I did see something. I don't think that's a Tim Holtz, but I like it. No. <laughs> it's like, no, stop being grumpy. I, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. No, stop being grumpy, old man. <clears throat> right, I'm going to put a little charm on. And I've got these teeny tiny paper clips. Timmy does these. Some of them are Timmy ones, some of them aren't. I just buy them and keep filling this up as needed from wherever the cheapest, basically. And I'm going to use a little charm. What have we got? I put a camera on the last one. It was cute. Um, I don't have an awful lot of variety when it comes to antique bronze charms, so I could put a silver one on this, actually, for a change. Oh, we've got some cogs. Does a cog fit? I don't know. Is a cog ever wrong? I don't think it is. We can always do a cog. We could do a cog and a clock finger. It's time to visit your sweetheart, mate. So we've got butterflies. I don't think a butterfly would work. And then others are just flowers and things. I've got a mushroom. Mm, mushroom house. Roses. I think it's going to be a cog and a clock finger. Oh, that's just made me think of Cadbury's chocolate fingers, yum. Do you have Cadbury's chocolate fingers in the US? I have no idea. What about other parts of the world? I know you can get them in Spain because they had them when I went to Spain. So, right, let me grab my little... I've got them out somewhere. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, it's open. I've no... Oh, and I've just thrown rings all over my desk. Oh, what a numpty. I'll pick some up. I very rarely use these big ones anyway, so I'll get Granny Grabber with magnetic end on them later. I'll just move those that are in my way. Oh, I do it all the time. I used to have these wheels with gems in when I made cards. I think I need a slightly bigger ring to put two charms on. Yeah, that one should do. Should it? I don't know. I might go for an even bigger one. What do you reckon? Ooh, there will be a live coming up sometime soon. You know, I'm a little bit technically challenged when it comes to doing anything other than what I need to do. <laughs> well, my friend Cheryl, she does live sales. She knows all about how to do lives. And so... And also, she's absolutely fabulous at mixed media. And I want to learn a bit more about mixed media. And I think I need someone telling me what to do as I go along and telling me where I'm going wrong. I'm just looking for my uh, brass ring now to uh, open my, ring up, my thing up. And I can't find it. That's two brass rings I've lost in a day now. I think I might have to buy myself a bucket full of them. Because I put them on the shelf and then they fall off. And then they end, they end up Lord knows where. Come on, brass ring. I ain't got to get another set of pliers out. I've I go back to doing them archaic way with pliers. Is it on the floor? No, it's not on the floor. Is it where me other rings were in this pile? No, oops, that's a bit of a craft lunch. Now I'm going to have to get another set of pliers out. That's shocking, that woman. Grab some more pliers then. Here we go. 
Yeah, I've got one of those little... Bra it's probably on desk. Someone can see it and they're going, it's there, it's there. But I can't see it. I've got one of those little brass rings that open and close the jump rings and I find it so much easier than this. This is like trying to get some off a barbecue with tongs. When you're scared to eat. I don't barbecue. Not since I set some sausages on fire. I'm not safe. Plus, I'm at UK. <laughs> it's not like we get much barbecue weather. And we all live in houses the size of postage stamps. So if... I do. <laughs> yeah, if next door neighbours have a barbecue, it's set up six foot from my front window on their patio. So it just all blows in. Thankfully, my current neighbours don't do barbecue. So we didn't, and wind always blows my way and choked us. It was like, ugh. Right, here we go. Back, it's bumbling crafter time again. I like that. A little cog and a little thing. I love it. Yeah, I really need to expand my collection of brass charms because they're all botanical. And he's not botanical, is he? So let's have a quick shifty at what we did. We've got the little book there. I love it. That's so cute. So you can do a bit of journaling. You've got that to journal on back of. You've got the photo of his sweetheart to journal on back of. And that can be it's so low profile. You can just slip that into another journal. Or it could be something nice. You could put a gift card in it send someone as a present right let's decorate the other two that i made look Ugh, i'd already inked them so again you won't lose will to live watching me ink and i'd already put the pages in one book look i even went fancy there i cut that piece of straw paper with pinking shears they weren't my fabric pinking shears so i don't want any seamstresses having an heart attack thinking oh no she's cutting paper with him i have two sets i've got my paper set and i've got tucked away in a drawer i've got my fabric set right we've got two sheets of paper ready for that book let's grab another couple i just grabbed a handful or whatever were there we've got well we've got some actual tea dyed paper there that looks nice will that be about two inches nearly so that will be fine. That'll be a good height. Can save the other one for a different booklet then. And then I'm just going to cut that edge off. I'll use that edge as a guide. There we go. That's three sheets. And I'll just pop one more in and then we're done. And I'm going to use this. That looks like some kind of... That could just be inked copier paper, that. I'm really not sure. It's just something that ended up in my scraps at some point in time. I'm going to use that top bit, though. I don't want it too inky. So I'm just going to pop that there. And cut round. That'll be easy. Just cut it and woman, and then that can go in another book. There we go. That's it. I like that. So that's another. I love that. I do like Tim Holtz paper. And I'm going to staple that just like the other one. So it's all nice and flush down in the middle. Turn it over. I can see my crease because I've inked it. And the Tim Holtz, look, it's just perfect, two inch reach on it. And there we have our teeny tiny little booklet. So we've got two booklets and two more of these to decorate. So let's go to town. Let's have a belly band inside one of them. And I want to use... What do I want to use? <laughs> I don't know what I want to use could want to use oh i like that it's a bit shiny but i like it we've got a card i'm going to stay clear of butterflies another project with no butterflies i can get a little bit silly when it comes to butterflies me and i feel i have to put one on everything 
these are all a lovely size to make belly bands in these um i'm going to put the belly band there and it's going to reach all the way across the world <laughs> that reminded me of a scene from an episode of friends years ago that uh phoebe and rachel went for tattoos and <laughs> i can't even remember if phoebe got a tattoo but they asked rachel about her tattoo and all she got was a dot <laughs> Uh, and she said it's the whole world from far, far away or something. So, yeah. Every time anyone mentions the whole world, I think about that episode and Rachel's tattoo. I need to cut a smidgen more off that. I was just using that card as a guide to give me a straight edge. But my scissors up to it. It helps me cut... <laughs> That's not... It helps me cut straight. No, it helps me cut straight-ish. Sometimes straight-ish... Is all we need. So that's my little belly band. What have we got up front? Do I want to just put that belly band out front? No, I did belly band out front to one. I want it inside. You can go there, mate. There you go. So we'll glue you with art and glitter. Just a bit of glue along each side. I'm not doing measurements on these other than to tell you the measurement of the little book because it don't matter measurements don't always matter you just chop it down so it fits that's so wonky there you go now it's straight ish <laughs> i can't even tell if that's straight i don't even know if my head's on straight today it it, it might hurt. Yeah, it might not be. Well, the photo, oh, a photo should go in there perfectly. But I'm thinking that crusty old gentleman will fit better. Oh, maybe. What about the whole family? The whole... I nearly said the old miserable family, and I said I wouldn't go on about these people being miserable, didn't I? Well, I failed on that front. Well, we could have a side tuck then on this one. Yeah, let me do a side pocket. In fact, I'm going to use one of these pieces. Oh, no, I've got a couple of these. These are the Tim Holtz journal cards. And I think some of them are this size. Are they even... They could be um, Project Life cards. I'm really not sure. Well, I've got them mixed up at some point. Oh, we've got another postcard there. It's quite thick, that one. Oh, we've got that. That's too tall. I don't want to use that. These, again, are just more bits and bobs of Tim Holtz ephemera. Let's have a... Oh, that's definitely Tim Holtz. It's one of the square journal cards. Ooh. Oh, it's too wide. Oh, I like that. I like that card. That looks good. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to put a tuck like that. Yeah, to put the book in. Then we could put another little one on front, which is very similar to that first prototype that I did. Let's have another dip in the ink. So we're running out. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to glue this on two sides, long side and bottom. There we go. And then the booklet can tuck in there. And that needs another teeny tiny pocket on the front so i'm going to use something from my little snippets not that one i think i like that i don't mind that we're covering up some of the card that's did that card have a right and a wrong way it did and i've put it upside down oh what an empty That could be another little belt. That's a little belly band. I'm going to cover up the fact that it's on upside down. Yeah, because, yeah, we don't care. We can do upside down. Upside down's fine. As I always say, Australia are upside down and they manage fine. <laughs> well, they are when I look at a globe anyway. I put it off to one side just because I could. Right. 
I'm going to let those dry before I tuck bits in and stick something on the other one. So that's that one finished. That's finished. That's finished. We've just got... Have I done them all? Can I not count? I'm sure there's one left to decorate. Yeah, there it is. Silly woman. No, I've just done that one. One, two. <laughs> Three. There's one left to decorate and I've lost it. Here it is. Oh, wow. I think I need to lie down in a dark room after this. Oh, I like this one. A little bit of roses. Love that. So I think we need a top tuck on this. Um, oh, we could do some corner pockets. Oh, I could do a corner pocket there and a corner pocket there. That sounds brilliant. And I'm going to cut it slightly off. Like so. Then it will fit. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, wouldn't that have been good if I'd have done that on the one with the um, world? The whole world. But it'll look good on this one. We could actually put one of them on the front. I don't know. Too many ideas about where to stick things. Fact. You don't even know that's upside down because it's sort of a sideways ways map. Now that's going to go like that. And that one is going to go like that. Yeah, I just like that. Something different, isn't it? And that one will be big enough to put the booklet in. There we go. And the same again on this one. Down one side and along the bottom. Whee! That were a bit wobbly. Yeah. The corners on these cards were already exactly the same as the small corners I cut with the small corner chomper. Right. Ticket, ticket, ticket time. I'm wanting to put the orange one on somewhere. Ooh, what about a blank one? And a round one? I'm struggling to pick some of these up. Oh, I like the round one. With the blank one next to it, yeah, a little bit of ink. They don't all have to be pockets, do they? Let's have it straightish. There we go. So, yeah, the nearer the time of this live that I'm going to organise with Cheryl, uh, I will. Put a link in the video before i'll link it on my community post and yeah so <laughs> it should be a laugh watching shell try and teach me mixed media haha <laughs> it's like shell be all that and you do this and you do that and i'll just i'll do i'll just end up doing my own thing i can see it coming now i'll be like yeah that'll do blind man i'd be glad to see it I'm going to pop that up there because I like it. We can have another little top tuck in that then. Two top tucks. That'll be cute. So I'm just going to glue the top and that side. Yeah, I didn't realise that Tim Holtz card when I stuck it on had a right way and a wrong way. In my brain I was just thinking playing cards that are usually the same both ways, aren't they? So you tricked me there, Timmy. Or a Timmy trick. Oh, I like that bright red thing. How good is that? Oh, no, it's too bright red. But then again, I like that one. That's bright red. And that's not quite as bright, is it? I just want that there. So you'll still see it below whatever tucks in that pocket. No idea where it is. Hope it's all from right era or Rachel will not be an happy bunny. I just won't show her. Oh, 
that's yummy. Right, I'll let that dry while I put some bitties and bobbies now in my other one. There we go. This one looks a bit plain and boring compared to that one. Right, which book's going to go in which? I think I'm going to put the plainer book in here. Let me just bone fold that down. There we go. Ooh, it would nearly fit in there. Yeah, plainer book there. And then we we're going to put a photograph in there, weren't we? I got the photograph out, didn't I? Have I now lost the photograph? Highly likely. So whichever photograph I said I were going to use, change your plan because I've lost it. And that fits perfectly. I'll pop that one in there. Right. Back to this one. We're going to bone fold the crease on that as well. Well, that's right way up. Pop that one in there. And yeah, I want to do a photograph again. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I like that. Oh, we can just see Teddy and not little girl. So when you pull it out, you get to see cute little girl. Oh, that's so cute. Now, do these need anything on front? I don't want to put anything on front of these. I mean, this one, it had like a big blank patch in the middle and that's like all tickets. But these, there's quite a lot of, there's a quite a lot going off on there. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to clip. I'll find a piece of ephemera and I'll clip it to the front with my little paper clip that I'm going to use. Yeah, a ticket. We'll clip a ticket from the Tim Holtz ticket book. Thank you, Zoe. I've been after these a while. I didn't realise quite how many were in. I looked at the price and thought, ooh, that's a bit steep for what it is. But then when I got my grubby little mitts on it, it was like, hmm, it's quite good value, really, for the amount of tickets you get in it. And I'm going to use some of this back page, having looked all the way through the book. I don't want to take... Oh, I've just noticed these on the back page <clears throat> are faux tickets in exact same style as the real tickets that are selling my Etsy shop. <laughs> yeah, these are actual vintage. The UK bus tickets, aren't they? And... That one's too tall. But I don't sell those tall ones. That were just some I came across for my own personal stash. So that's that. And that's that. You'll see what I mean in a minute. A bit more inking. There has been a lot of inking in this video. I do apologise profusely. I'll grab a couple more pins, paper clips, not pins. Oh, it looks like we're using silver because that's what came out at jar. I always like to bend these a little bit because I find them a little bit tight and a little bit hard to get on. So I'll just bend them a tiny bit before I use them. There we go. I like that now, just having that ticket up front. Just a little bit of something. Bend that one a bit, missus. Don't tell somebody you always do something and then not bother doing it. Forget me, head if it were loose. Right, so that's that. I still feel that needs something, but I don't know. That may get something at a later date. I can't decide. But as for the rest of them... I quite like them. Where's my little camera charm gone? Or, when Gail made her bigger ones yesterday, she just used a little clip until she'd uh, put it together and I thought that would be nice just to close them anyway. That's what gave me the idea of these little paper clips. There we go. So there we have it. Four little booklets with four little scrappy pads inside and lots of little tuck spots. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.